finally today we went ahead and did a most buffalo feel good challenge of the day and it seems like everybody's already cruising into that holiday weekend mode so we kept it simple with a good old fashioned throwback thursday we are of course getting ready to celebrate america's birthday and like anyone else who's had a birthday since about march will tell you it's probably not going to be as great as it usually is but even if the fanfare is a bit more subdued, the enthusiasm to celebrate is still high. I went online with an old photo of me doing my very best Richie Tenenbaum impression from a few years back, hat tip to the Wes Anderson fans in the house, and asked you to share your favorite vintage 4th of July photos. And some of you even shared pictures instead of just commenting on my photo, so kudos to you. We saw lots of stars and stripes, a July 4th wedding, and even something that in the year 2020 is weirdly elusive and ubiquitous simultaneously. Fireworks. All right, I know this might be an unpopular side note, but I just don't get the big attraction with fireworks. I mean, sure, they're traditional and they're pretty. They're fun to watch and ooh and ah over. And you might miss all that. I get that. But do you miss it so much that you're willing to risk your fingers, an eyeball, or maybe an entire hand just to watch some pretty lights and hear an explosion in your backyard? They're not that great. Not to mention that after all she's been through, I don't know that Lady Liberty really needs Roman candles on her birthday cake, but I should know by now. If 2020 has taught me anything it's that some humans just want what they want and no amount of danger or stupidity is going to keep them from it life liberty pursuit of happiness i get it so if you want to declare your independence from common sense and possibly your eyebrows after you singe them off that's your business where was i right fourth of july throwback thursday Big parades and gatherings and fireworks displays may be off the table this year, but there is still plenty of room for backyard barbecues and smaller gatherings with family and friends. And as always, as we like to say around here, the opportunity to make some more great memories. Sometimes I like to toss a match in the dynamite shack. Thanks for playing along here on Most Buffalo. Have a great night. I'm Kate Welsh, for Wear a Mask, Leave the Fireworks to the Professionals, and I'll see you next time.